So now we're looking, we've got a posterior view of a real skull. We can see the external occipital protuberance here. Lateral and inferior to it, we've got a superior nuchal line and an inferior nuchal line. Now they're not always going to be all that visible, but on this one they're pretty good. So superior nuchal line and then inferior nuchal line here. Then, if we have a look at this little fetal skull model, we can see that we can see frontal bone here, still in, in kind of two parts. We can see parietal bones here. In between, we have an anterior fontanelle. So that's a place where there'll just be membrane, no bone there as yet until the bones finish growing together. So that would be the anterior fontanelle. Now there should also be a posterior one and they're not really showing it on the model. So here at what will become lambda, there should be a posterior fontanelle. But it's not really there clearly like the anterior one is. Out here there should be a mastoid fontanelle. And here there should be a sphenoid or sphenoidal fontanelle. And again, those ones not really shown clearly on the model. And then if we look at an internal view of the calvaria, what we can see here, so here we've got frontal and then parietal bones. Hopefully you can see there's a little notch here, or a little depression. And running from that depression, pretty much where the the suture goes, the sagittal suture, there should be a groove in there. Now that's the groove for the superior sagittal sinus. So again, another vein inside the skull running right along there. Groove for the superior sagittal sinus. 